Mazda's carved out an interesting niche for itself by creating vehicles in every segment that focus on being fun to drive and good to look at. But when the vehicle in question is a three-row crossover, fun to drive isn't really all that important. That's why, with the 2016 Mazda CX-9, the company really hit it out of the park in terms of interior refinement and great design. How does it look? It's a little schnozzy for my taste, but as far as mainstream crossovers go, the CX-9 is easily the most attractive. I love the slim headlamps and tail lamps, and the flowing taut lines along the body sides. One look at the CX-9 and you'll draw comparisons to things like the Jaguar F-Pace or Porsche Cayenne before you even think of a Ford Explorer or Toyota Highlander. How's the storage? There's 71 cubic feet of space behind the first row of seats in the CX-9. That sounds like a lot, it's actually not. Every other three-row crossover has more space. Heck, even a Honda Fit is only about 12 cubic feet shy of the CX-9 here. That said, there's plenty of room inside for a couple of bikes or a weekend's worth of luggage, though the hatch doesn't really go up all that high. I'm only 5'8", and I don't really have a ton of room under here. Unlike a lot of three-row CUVs, the CX-9 doesn't feature any unique or clever storage compartments for your kids' stuff. That said, there's plenty of room in the center console and door pockets for your daily needs. Is it roomy? The first and second rows are fine for adults, but the third row is kind of a pain in the butt to access. Up front, headroom and legroom are average for the class, and the overall cabin feels spacious and airy. How does the interior feel? Man, the one thing you really notice when you first get into the CX-9 is it's freaking nice in here. Like, the leathers are really, really soft, nicely appointed. The brushed aluminum has a really great look and feel to it. And even this natural wood, it's just a really nice touch. I know this is the loaded signature model, but an interior like this in a three row crossover is a really great way to impress. Is it well equipped? Eh, kind of. It's got a lot of niceties like a robust infotainment system, LED headlights, tons of safety equipment, premium audio and heated seats. But as far as family friendly crossovers go, it's way behind the pack. Rear seat entertainment, not available. Second row captain's chairs, nope. That's probably fine for empty nesters, but picky parents will likely take issue with the CX-9's lack of family functionality. How's the infotainment system? Mazda Connect is about mid-pack as far as modern infotainment systems go. I like the clear graphics and that you can either operate the system via the 8-inch touchscreen or the dial on the center console. Nothing about Mazda Connect really blows me away as far as the available features, but I'd way rather use this than, say, my Ford Touch. Is it a good daily driver? Mazda paid a lot of attention to NVH issues in redesigning the CX-9, so the result is a car that's actually really quiet when you're inside of it just driving down the road. It's very hushed in here, and combined with the, you know, really nice appointed interior, it makes for a much more upscale driving experience. Visibility is really good, the seats are nicely supportive and very comfortable, and overall, the CX-9 is a little more pleasant to drive than pretty much any other crossover in the class. Is it fun to drive? Unquestionably, the CX-9 is the best driving crossover in its segment. That's sort of Mazda's thing after all, making cars that are great to drive more than anything else. The steering feels nice, it's direct, nicely weighted. The brakes feel a little soft, but they're pretty good. And the suspension is nicely taut, but still comfortable most of the time. The crossover doesn't really lumber around or, you know, roll like a lot of other CUVs in its class. It stays pretty firm and taut most of the time but it's still not trying to be a sports car, despite its smaller Mazda 3 bones. 
Mazda's got a new 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four working under the hood of the CX-9. It makes about 250 horsepower, and that doesn't really sound like a lot, but it's more than enough power for a vehicle this size. All that torque is delivered way down low, so you've got plenty of power for acceleration or passing. How's the fuel economy? The 2016 CX-9 is rated at 22 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway with front wheel drive. That's actually best in class stuff. Adding all wheel drive like this car reduces both of those numbers to 21 and 27 miles per gallon respectively. How much is it? You'll need $31,520 to get into a base CX-9 Sport and prices stretch as high as $45,215 for this totally loaded signature model. That's about in line with the rest of the crossover segment. Just remember that what you get in great driving dynamics, you don't get in family-friendly features. What are the negatives? The CX-9 costs about as much as every other CV in its class, but it doesn't offer anything interesting in terms of functionality or practicality. It's got the lowest amount of cargo volume, and in terms of family-friendly features, there's nothing like rear seat entertainment or captain's chairs or anything. Who should buy it? Three-row crossovers aren't just for families. There are plenty of people for whom a vehicle like the Mazda CX-9 makes a lot of sense. Empty nesters or couples who just never felt like having kids. For them, the car rewards you by being really good to drive, having a nicely appointed luxurious interior, and it's really pretty. I mean, that also might be enough to woo some people who have kids who just don't need all those fancy bells and whistles. If you like this Why Buy video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, or read us at MotorOne.com. And hey, leave us a comment. If there's something you'd like to see, we'd like to film it.